Okay, guys, here's what's on the bench today. We've got a Jackson uh, Flying V, more of a kind of a Randy Rhodes V. And it's missing a couple of strings on here. Um, we got to uh, change the strings out, shine this thing up a little bit. Help me out here. Let's get started. Here we go. All right, so a Jackson Randy Rhodes inverted headstock, black guitar with the red binding, the red logo. It's in for a restring. I think I can do it. So uh, just real quick, looking at what strings are on here, it looks like there's a a 9 through 42's on here. Now, uh, my customer wants a heavier gauge. Let me see if my trim block will fit under this thing. Yeah, this is the one that uses these erasers. So I got a couple of erasers, and so sometimes if I stick one of these down there, it'll hold it in a nice spot uh, that's kind of too much right there yeah this one is one that's just oops fell down in there this one I think I think our trim block right here is probably going to be our best bet. So we'll leave that in there. And uh, I'll take the back plate off because there's a great chance that we are going to have to get in and adjust these springs because it currently has nines and my customer wants heavier strings on it. And uh, we're not going to put it back in standard tuning. I'll have to look at my notes to see what tuning he wants it in. I think he wants it in drop B tuning. So that's a little bit challenging, but we can do it. There's a lot of different bands nowadays, the modern metal stuff. They tune to drop B, drop C, different tunings like that. Okay, now I do have a really cool little suction cup. Take these back plates off with. Ooh. And then there's my eraser that I dropped down in there. Okay. Kind of a shielded back plate, which is cool. Made in China, Jackson V. Let's go up here and I'm going to remove all these locking nuts. Set them over here and I keep, kind of put them in, in order. And I don't think they really need to be, but sometimes the little bolt that goes down in here, sometimes, um, some are longer than others. Okay. And with my Ernie Ball Power Peg Pro String Winder, we get in here. And we lower, we're going to lower, loosen all these strings. Yeah, now when you get a guitar with a Floyd and some of the strings are missing, you got to make sure that all those little blocks are still down in there. And they look like they are, so let's loosen it here. See, these strings will come right out. So far, so good. Make sure that the old broken piece that isn't still down in there. There we go. And then I'll snug them back down just so that those little blocks won't fall out while I'm cleaning and doing other things to this. 
snug them back in there. You just clean on it for a minute. Guys love it when they pick their guitar up and it's all nice and clean. So let me let me clean it for a while. Got a little chip right there. It's unfortunate. Strange place for a chip. Right there. Okay, so up here on this end, we will um, make sure that our tuners are secure. So I'm going to take my 10 millimeter open end, end wrench. And we're just going to snug these down, make sure they're nice and tight on here. The guitar is dirty. I don't know if it was taken really good care of, but at least the guy brought it in. He's having it cleaned up and restrung, so... Don't know how long this guy's had this guitar or anything like that. This is a customer restring. Don't call me and say, hey man, Sim, sell me that. Sell me that Jackson. It's not my guitar. Okay, we got customers walking in. I'll be right back. Okay, it's time to put some strings on it. Roll the string jingle. All right, guys, today's string choice. Ernie Ball Beefy Slinky, 11 through 54. Okay, so for a drop tuning, we've decided to do something a little heavier, optimal for detuning. Yeah, this is the stuff right here. World's number one electric guitar string for over 60 years, Ernie Ball. Here we go. All strings. A fifty-four. It's a it's a pretty heavy, pretty heavy string. Let's see if she'll fit down in there. There it goes. Nice. I think that should work. Doesn't seem like that's going to come flying out of there. Yeah, so if you look back uh, through some videos, about a week or two ago, I went and saw a Led Zeppelin tribute called Get the Lead Out. And I did a little video on that where I put them playing the Immigrant song. Last night I went to another concert. I went and saw Winger last night. So Kip Winger. Opening band was Nelson. And... Uh, <laughs> Nelson did good. They had um, two guitar players, plus uh, Gunner Nelson was playing guitar. So I love going to shows where there's a lot of guitar players, a lot of great guitar players. Um, and uh, let me know, uh, you know, because a lot of times I will go to a concert and then I'll make a video and I'll put some... Uh, I'll put a uh, I'll put in one song or something and make a little video of it. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see a little bit of footage from some of these concerts that I'm always going to. They don't get very many views. I will say that the uh, 
you know, they don't get a lot of views, so I'm just wondering if I should waste my time doing it or not. I figure I'm already at the concert, and most people already have their phones out doing that kind of stuff, recording stuff. But let me know if any of you guys enjoy the random concert footage that I put up on my channel. I do have a little footage right here of Reb Beach playing uh, some lead music last night. He was shredding it up. That guy is a great guitar player. And I was really just blown away by uh, the fact that Winger is all original members right now. They're out touring with all original members, which is super cool in my opinion. Okay. Our D string is a 30 gauge. A lot of uh, packs where your low E string is a 30 gauge or a 32 gauge. Okay, here we go. So far, we're doing good on this one. It's another customer coming in. I hear my door chime. Okay, got the strings on here. I'm going to go ahead and take this out. There we go. I'm going to back these tuners out. Good. Alright. Let me look in my book and see what this guy wanted this thing tuned to. Okay, this thing goes in drop B tuning. So let me put a tuner on it. I just use snark tuners. All right, so let's think now. So I have a little piece of paper up here on my repair bench, and this is drop B tuning right here. So we've got a low E string is down to B, and then your um, A string is at F sharp, B, E, G sharp and C sharp. Okay. So let me start by getting our A string. Okay. There's an F sharp. There's the E. There's the G sharp. Okay, and then there, there's the C sharp. Okay, so you just got to keep going through this a bunch of times. And you'll finally get it. So I'm going to take the next couple of minutes here. And, uh, and I'm going to keep tuning on them and just get them somewhere in the neighborhood. Keep looking at this bridge and seeing I don't want it to lift way up high. I don't want it to sink way down in there. And so let me just do that and then I'll come back. It's getting closer, it's getting closer. Little tiny bit more tightness on the claw.
Okay. Put the back plate on. I think I have it adjusted pretty darn good. So I'm going to go ahead and hopefully I'm not jumping the gun here, but I'm going to put the neck plate, Hello. the back plate back on. Hey, okay, so I'm doing a little final tuning here. And I'm locking him down. And uh, sometimes, again, you have to go through this two or three times to get them just right. But I got the bridge laying nice and flat. The bead looks good. Doing a little bit on the fine tuners here. So I just about got this. I called my customer. He's on his way to pick this one up. So there it is, guys. Thank you for watching. Do all that YouTube stuff for me. Like, comment, share, uh, thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next video. Buddy, have a great day. See you next time. Go buy a guitar.